Hey everybody, what's happening? Son of a Silver Stacker here. In today's numismatic news and information for the ninth day of November 2022, I'd like to welcome you over to Admix so we can check out the live spot prices. But before that, I'm going to welcome you over to a good morning to you with Tiny Numismatics. So it's going to be number 274. And just to let you know, um, videos that we do here are all brought to you by our channel members. So thank you, each and every single one of you, uh, for being a member. You really help. Uh, things come through. Now let's head over here to Amex. Gold is down 770 to 1716 even. Stephen Silver's down 17 cents to 2155. Platinum down $5.20 to 102030 and palladium down 1760 to uh, 1956 even Stephen. I don't even know what I'm thinking. So, want to bounce over here to Twitter and there's a gentleman who is uh, his page is called Michael Hashtag silver squeeze at Mike say 98. And if you're not a member or at least following his page, uh, I think you're wrong, especially if you have a Twitter account. He's got some great information here and he's putting it all together for us to give us some really great perspective. Now, this is about 14 hours ago. It says Comex vault totals dropped to 298.4 million ounces. That's the lowest level since March 1st, 2019. Registered silver was unchanged. That's right there. Open interest now equal to 230% of all vaulted silver and 1,970 percent of registered silver and uh, he's got a visual representation of the monthly change between the comex and lbma silver vaults of uh well check this out this is incredible so the green means a build and the red is a draw on the inventory so they're taking out silver for almost all of 2022 and what does that mean well it means that silver is in high demand is what i'm thinking now speaking of high demand let's go over here to the united states mint and talk about the american silver eagle okay now, we know for last year, the American Silver Eagles totaled about, well, about 15 million for the Type 1. And then about April, they switched over to the Type 2. Well, we're at about 15 million right now for the whole year of 2022, folks. So what does that mean in a year of high demand and a low output by the United States Mints? Not even enough to meet the demand. And I imagine if they did produce more of these, the premium wouldn't be as remarkable as it is right now. All right, so let's go over here to JM Bullion, and you're going to see the premium here because it's ridiculous. These are 2022 one ounce American Silver Eagle coins. If you want to buy one through 19 of them with an e check or wire, you're going to pay 4160. All right, but if you pay PayPal or use a credit card, well, you're going to be paid 4333. And could this end up being $50? I imagine, but you never know. It could go either way, but it would be not so surprising if it does hit $50, folks. Not so surprising. Now, let's head over here to Coin, uh, Coin Week. There's an article by Louis Galino, and this guy's a genius, really dig his articles. Title of the article is The Coin Analyst, 2022 U.S. Mint Winners. And I'm just going to focus on the um, American Silver Eagle here. It says here, 2022 was definitely a quieter year for the U.S. Mint coins, especially compared to last year. A banner year for the Mint in terms of sales, and one marked by several historic developments, such as the new American Silver Eagle and Gold Eagle reverses, and the return of the Morgan and Peace Silver dollars. Arguably, the biggest news of the year related to the United States Mints was the ongoing shortage of silver planchets. And there's a hyperlink to the article there, especially those needed for the bullion versions of the Silver Eagle, which resulted in much lower production of those coins compared to last year. and have a well, relative high demand for the coins, right? So there's high demand and lower production. We've talked about that. Now, there's little doubt that if more of these coins, more of these bullion coins could have been struck, they would have been purchased rather quickly, helping to address the current market shortage. Absolutely. And what do you think that would do to the premium? Maybe we wouldn't be paying 43.33 for a PayPal uh, check or uh, wire, whatever, 41. It just, it wouldn't be as high, I don't think. Now it says here, the planches must be struck to the exacting standards that the Department of the Treasury requires, especially regarding silver purity and weight, that is believed to be currently provided primarily by just one company, Sunshine Minting, with some also coming from Leach Garner. And Sunshine also has other obligations and contracts to provide silver planches and produces its own products. And I wouldn't be surprised if they actually strike coins for other countries at the Sunshine Mint. Would not be a surprise. Now it says here the current situation has pushed the market premium for these coins to what is likely the highest level ever seen for raw uncirculated specimens, specimens, which currently sell retail for at least $40 or twice the current spot price. In 2011, the coins sold briefly for over $50, but that was because of the record high spot price of silver at the time. So we don't see a high spot price for silver right now, and we're seeing huge, huge premiums that could easily um if look if you if you combine a high spot price with these premiums 
that could be a force multiplier for these American silver eagles. And that would just make these so out of reach and so expensive, it would be ridiculous. Now, because of the current shortage of coins on the market, large bullion dealers who are unable to obtain enough coins for their customers from the U.S. Mint have been offering to buy them from the general public for $10 over spot for random dates to about $12 over if they are current year coins from 2022. Isn't that remarkable? Because 2022 offers very little, about $15 million so far. Now, if your local dealer is still paying half of that, sell them somewhere else, Lewis says. I think that's a good advice here. Now, he says there's some dealers have offered to exchange customer silver eagles for other bullion coins, which would result in the customer ending up with more ounces of silver. Now, folks, why do you suppose dealers want to sell you bullion coins from others for your silver eagles? You think about that. Because the silver eagles are very important. Very important. More than any other silver. And that's my opinion, and I'm welcome to it. Thank me. Um, but yeah, I think that's a huge thing. And it's just got to give us pause. It's got to give us something to reflect upon, right? Why are they buying American Silver Eagles and paying a premium for those 10 for odd years, $12 for this year's, and giving you alternatives to trade for other... It's just, come on now, something's there. Now, check this out. This is And this is going to give further evidence to um, what I'm trying to tell you here. Let's go here to the United States Mints, and this is the uh, beloved American Eagle coin series. This is the gold, and this is the silver. And if you wanted to pick up any of these from 2022 or 2021, you are out of luck. No product options available whatsoever. So they're all sold out. But you still, if you wanted to get the San Francisco proof, you can shell out $201 and get this one right here. But there it is. That's the only one available. That's the only way you can get it unless you go to the secondary market. Okay, and do you really want to go to eBay or somewhere else to buy something you could have bought for retail? No, probably not, because who wants to pay more than retail? So here we go. These are something that should also give us pause as well. And let's face it, uh, SD Bullion said that the 2023 American Silver Eagle um, Bullion coins would also sell out upon release as well. Isn't that something? Now, here we go. These are the subscriptions for 23 American Eagles. We know that the United States Mint cut the subscription for West Point. We know they cut the subscription for San Francisco back in mid-September, early October. That means the 2023 product sold out six months before their release date almost. I mean, that's just, it's just incredible, folks. That's how high of demand there is. And that's what, well, the silver planchet uh, shortage means to the United States Mint because they're already looking to this saying, you know what, we can't offer we can't make these obligations so we got to cut the reductions we got to cut it and not only that look at this so if you're going to subscribe to the west point proof you get a household order limit of 25 and that's pretty standard for subscriptions but if you go to the current product and you want to buy that there's also a household order limit of 25 when normally there was never one not one ever ever in the history well not that i can remember anyway American Eagle uh, West Point, look at this, American Eagle Silver um, Proof from San Francisco. Same story, not going to get it. And look at this, this ships in the fall of 2023. That's one whole year away from now. And the Mint already knows that they're not going to be able to come through. Isn't that incredible? So really, folks, 23 is done. Uh, it's already spoken for. Uh, you can get the uncirculated uh, that comes out in the spring. And I think that's amazing because it's actually a little bit less expensive than the proofs. And well, there's, but there's a household order limit of 10 on that one. And uh, I imagine that there also be a household order limit when that silver eagle drops that day as well. So the mint is capping in uh, subscriptions and they're capping on the household order limits for the American silver eagle products. And that should all give us a heads up as to what's happening out there. Absolutely. Now let's head over here to the plus ones. Um, but before I do that, how does that change your perspective, folks? Knowing that 2023 American silver eagles, the proofs are all sold out. The uh, bullion coins, uh, bullion shark is saying that they're going to be all sold out upon release for the bullion coins, right? In 2023. Um, <laughs> Does that change your perspective? Does that give you new motivation, new purpose? Does that want to make you redouble your efforts towards silver or for the American Silver Eagles? Or do you see this and say, well, you know what? If they're giving out all that extra silver for American Silver Eagles, maybe it's time I dump my Silver Eagle collection for just regular bullion, maybe bars and rounds. So many, so many questions come up. Now let's head over to the plus one today. I'm running out of time. Now, when does a joke become a dad joke? Well, become, well, when it becomes a parent. Yeah, yeah, a parent. Now, let's head over here to the next one. This is Isaiah 117. Yeah, learn to do good, seek justice, correct oppression, bring justice to the fatherless, 
plead the widow's cause. Absolutely. Uh, I think that's really amazing. Um, it says learn to do good. I thought that was really interesting how they say learn. Maybe maybe it's not inherent in us to do good. Uh, is that why we need a good book to teach us good? Um, does that mean that uh, bad is already in us? And if bad is already in us, we better learn to do good, right? So let's head over here to 3 nines fine, 99.9. 3, three nines fine, 99.9 .9 KON Coin News Radio. Yeah, this is outshined by Soundgarden, and it is in HD, so it's got the high-quality, full-body sound. So there it is, folks. I want to thank you all for watching. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you do like what you're going to see, please subscribe to the channel. It's free. Son of a Silver Stacker, out.